Hello, hello, chalk lovers. This is Grace here at The Comfy Nest, and do I have a treat for you. Chalkador with the new spring product line has come out with a vintage truck cutout, um, and it's fabulous. It fits the transfer design perfectly, and the exciting part is you can get an accessory pack that has two bases and two of the inserts for the truck, for the inside of the truck. For today, you're gonna to see me use the watermelons for inside the truck. So that is incredibly fun and exciting. And I feel like the bases can be used for other things, the other cutouts, like the bunny cutouts and the Christmas tree cutouts and the pumpkin cutouts and all sorts of things. Um, so it's a really exciting addition to the product line. I chose to use a shimmering color for the base of my truck. It's called Melon and it's beautiful. It's gonna be perfect for with the watermelons in the top of the truck. So we get that first layer on and then clearly that needs to dry. So I'm using the new drying tool from Chalk Couture. It's that beautiful teal color um, to dry that off. And you know what, actually I can put that aside, the truck itself, and let that continue to dry while I work on something else. So either way, use your drying tool or just put it aside and let it dry on its own time. Either one works. But the shimmering colors and the new Dreamy Creamy formula by Chocotour, they are gonna have a little longer dry time than what we were used to before. Next up is to create the watermelons for inside um, or for on top of or inside the truck bed. So um, I grabbed the watermelon transfer and the transfer size is actually a little bigger than the, in, the, um, the new cutout, which is totally fine because I just was able, you can see there, I was able to choose the watermelons that I wanted to show on there. I chose a green that made sense to me and then go ahead and um, push that paste through the reusable adhesive transfer and voila your watermelons are all set and ready to go next up i wanted to put something on the base and you can see how adorable this is going to be when it all comes together um, the transfer packs have several options for different seasons but i'm choosing the watermelon because we're coming into the warm weather and summer seasons so i chose the watermelon sign there and i'm just going to use basic black to get that on there really simple and classic if you'd like to check out the, the new product line if you want to see these items um, each individually and read their descriptions i created a quick link for you it's a cart link so it puts everything that i use today or most of the products into a cart for you um, so, so it makes it just really easy if you want to do some shopping you can either just look at them and see what they are or you can check out right from that cart that's already filled in for you and feel free to take things out of the cart that maybe you already have on hand and then you can also add things to the cart that maybe you want to add that I didn't show today so feel free to use that quick link what I'm doing here is um, my black paste was feeling a little thick when I did the watermelon part of the um, design. I was feeling like it was a little thick, but I wanted it for the top portion of my truck. So I'm using this little handy mixer that I have um, that works great for everything from Mod Podge to acrylic paints to my chalk pastes. Um, this little handy mixer, it uses a couple of batteries um, and it just is really, it has a really small um, head to it so I can get it inside my small paint bottles and um, works really easily with the pastes to just give it a really good mix. And it really makes it super easy to get that paste to the consistency that you want. So that's what you saw me do there. You can find the link to that. Again, it's in my Amazon store and I have the link in the description of the video. Back to a little dry time and a sip of coffee while I'm waiting for that truck to really make sure you wanna make sure that that's dry before we go to the next step. And the next step will be to wax this. So I'm going to use the Chalk Couture Surface Wax to add a, a light coat of wax. I'm going to use a couple of, um, you know, blue shop towels. You know, they're like those really heavy-duty paper towels. They give off no lint whatsoever. And they're great for something like this. It's a really small project. I don't need a ton of wax. Um, and I just need to get a little. So I just tear little pieces of these shop towels and use this to apply the wax and then to wipe off the excess. And by doing this, what we're doing is we're protecting not only this newly 
dried paste that we just put on the truck, but we're also protecting the, the sticky, the adhesive backing of the reusable transfer, the stencil, because we wanna make sure that um, it doesn't stick too strongly to this surface. It glides on really beautifully. It's a nice, soft, workable wax. So you wanna get a coat of it on there and then buff it off a little bit and then we're ready to go with the next step. And here, when we, we get ready to peel off this transfer to reveal the design underneath, that's the, the really exciting, satisfying moment of this whole process. It's really fun to see this come together. And like I said, I used Shimmering Melon for the bottom, the underside of the truck, and I used black on top. And on that white truck cutout, I think it just turned out wonderful and i'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments so make sure you say hello let me know where you're watching from let me know if you've ever tried chocolate tour before and what you think of this project in particular so what you'll see me do here is i have a little excess paste on the top of my truck easy enough to get off with a q-tip all i did was wipe it down with a q-tip you can wet the q-tip too and um, try to wipe off any excess if you have any overages of your paste. Um, generally, that, that won't happen, um, but if it does, just know that you can easily wipe it off. It's an erasable formula, definitely erasable off of all non-porous surfaces like chalkboards and mirrors and glass, hard plastics. And on this wood, it's actually been very forgiving. Um, these wood cutouts that Chocotour has designed to use with this product line is very forgiving. Although I don't think I'd be able to wipe off that whole truck from the cutout, but that little bit of paste that was excess on top came off with no problem. Okay, now for my watermelons, um, there's a little bit of white, you know, white, you can see the white coming through where the cutout for the watermelons are. So I thought I'd take a brown permanent marker and just put a few of the lines, you know, they have the veins in them, the watermelons. So I thought I would just detail these out in brown to really make these watermelon pop and show up really well in the back of the truck. So all you see me do here is take a permanent marker and mark off a little bit of those lines, the veins, and the outside of these watermelons to make each one really individually show in this pile in the back of the truck. And we are almost done with this project. I can't wait to show you it all together. Again, I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you stop by please say hello, please subscribe to the channel. I'm really eager to get to 1,000 channel subscribers so that I can go live here on YouTube. I would love to be able to do that and connect with you that way. Um, and in the meantime, if you'd like to shop this product line, you can check out the links in the description of the video. Have a wonderful day.